Time to finish your story this season. It included an edit of Burrow with the WWE Undisputed Championship and a neck tattoo like the one that Cody Rhodes has. And so now, it is my distinct pleasure to welcome, and I can't do it the way McAfee would do it, but he is the Undisputed WWE Champion, Cody Rhodes, who is defending his title this weekend at SummerSlam in Cleveland. It is going to be as big a show as they have all summer long. Cody, thank you for taking the time to do this let's start with this you're an Atlanta guy you're a Georgia guy Burrow went to LSU right. how do you feel about him taking your look well I hope it uh brings him good luck I'm actually a big Joe Burrow fan I mean SEC legend I mean now that they're not playing one another anymore I'm definitely at heart a dogs fan but this guy was as good as good gets uh, on the college field. And I very much love watching him now, all these young quarterbacks uh, and what they're doing. And I hope the look uh, does him justice. It certainly worked for me. We finished the story, got the WWE championship. Uh, I hope uh, I hope he can get some gold himself. And now this is a fascinating moment for me. And you talk about making me feel a little old. I grew up watching your dad. I, I grew up loving Dusty Rhodes. And so here you are following in those legendary footsteps. And for anyone who is about my age, you know exactly what I'm talking about. How does a person in, in a business like yours, how do you find your own way when the whole world is going to be constantly saying, or at least early in your career, oh, there's Dusty Rhodes' kid, there's Dusty. What was it like finding your own way? Well, I think so much of it is is really trial and error, and you're put out there if you're a second generation, third generation, a, a nepotism baby, as uh, I uh, often am called. You're put out there early in front of the fans, and I had the opportunity to grow up in front of him uh, because of his last name. The door was open for me, but the issue becomes when your dad or mom is essentially a Mount Rushmore wrestler you will always be held to that standard and in my case i'm just incredibly lucky that i found out what works for me you know i'm not the american dream they call me the american nightmare and that distinction <laughs> that dichotomy between myself and uh and my father has has made it all the all, made it all work for me but it's it's no uh it's no easy task for sure and i uh we just had a, a young man, Jacob Henry, the son of uh, legendary Mark Henry, just signed with WWE, and he's going to go through all the heat, all the hazing, all the same thing that I went through. And and hopefully, uh, when when it's in your blood, uh, it's special, and and you can follow through. Now you have one thing that your dad never did, and that is he never won the WWE title. You carry that title. You are the face of the company. What does that mean to you? Just hearing it being said. Uh, on a show on a show like this is is almost terrifying in a sense that it's all I ever wanted. Uh, so we were talking about Joe Burrow earlier, and if you look at my my X or Twitter profile, whatever we're calling it, I have listed in my bio quarterback because that's how I always looked at this position, being the WWE's top champion and having the top belt in the entire industry all of wrestling not just wwe i wanted to treat it like being a starting quarterback and i wanted triple h uh to be my coach as he's the head of the creative for wwe and so far it's been a magical magical ride with some really great just metrics and things to hang our hats on for how great the business is doing and being able to to be in the lead of the business but again very very lucky all right, I'm looking at a quote here. Matt Hardy called you the best wrestler in the world. Are you the best All wrestler right. in the world? Are you? I, uh, I can tell you this. The best wrestler in the world is the one who has what's sitting right next to me. And uh, as long as I have it, I feel no problem in having having that said about me or even saying it myself because all that hard work and you can be humble and all of those things but the reality of it is if you're carrying this which is the north star for the wrestling business there is nobody better than you so hopefully i can hang on to it a little longer all right so you were facing solo sokoa at SummerSlam this weekend it's the biggest ww event of the summer you had uh, the long feud with the long bloodline. First Roman Reigns, now with Solo. So there are millions of people who are obviously cannot wait for this fight this weekend. But there's a lot of people who watch our show that may not know all of the ins and outs of this. So tell everybody why they need to see you this weekend. 
Well, this weekend, SummerSlam, it's one of WWE's big four PLE pay-per-view events. And this, hopefully, in an entertaining way, is a bit of a repeat of what we got at WrestleMania, which was the biggest show in wrestling history. I defeated the Tribal Chief, the true Tribal Chief, that being Roman Reigns, and I look to defeat the pretender Solo Sokoa at SummerSlam. And if you're also someone in the bloodline, perhaps named The Rock, I hope you will be watching because if you claim the Tribal Chief mantle next, same thing will happen to you. So we're calling out The Rock. I mean, I, I, that's what we basically did. But in, in, in fairness, he calls me out often. So just, just hope he has eyes on it. Cody Rhodes, this is a pleasure. Thank you so much. Good luck this weekend. Again, a little bit of a departure for us, but a fun one. The world will be watching you. Good luck in Cleveland. Thanks for taking a few minutes today. Thank you, sir. Thank you guys for having me. Thank you. There we go. SummerSlam. Again, this weekend, the biggest event.